two groups break in the home straight and come together then. It's all carefully measured out and run the same distance in the end. Well, a tremendous start. By Zabo, the young Romanian, the World Junior Champion. She's gone off so quickly, Brendan. Well, she's gone off far too quickly, and I mean, there's no need for that at this level. But occasionally, when they when they kept hanging around and waiting and worrying, occasionally nerves will take over. And she ran that first 200 metres in 30 seconds. Well, that's uh, four-minute mile pace, and obviously she won't be able to keep that going. Nor will she want to try and keep it going. So uh, surprising opening for the 5,000 metres. We did expect a strong pace, but not quite this strong. Very quickly moving through the field. Sonia O'Sullivan on the outside, because this athlete, Zabo, is one of the dangers. She was bronze medalist in the European Championship last year, and you wouldn't want to give her too much start. Sonia O'Sullivan in the second place. Sally Barsocio, the 17-year-old, is third. Ribeiro, the world record holder, four. Paula Radcliffe, five, alongside the Russian, Chobanova. Just behind. 6.06 is Quaziz, the Moroccan. Bedland of Sweden moving through. But Zabo being closed down now. Sonia Sullivan in second place. Barsocio third, Ribeiro four. Radcliffe five, Bedland six. Chibanova in seventh place. Sullivan has closed the gap quietly, efficiently, but most of all, economically, and that is important. Well, that's an impressive piece of running so far by Sonia O'Sullivan. She's let her go, she's gradually closed her down, and I think she'll be pleased that this race is being running and run at such a pace. She, she wants to run fast, she'd settle for a gold medal, but she wants to run fast, and 2.16 at... at um, 800 meters there, they're on world record pace for the three for the women's 5,000 meters. And, and just behind Sonia O'Sullivan is the world record holder herself, Fernanda Ribeiro. One of the advantages of a pace like this is it strings the field out, and then the dangers that occasionally occur in long distance races don't seem to affect the athletes because they're, they're running too quickly to interfere with one another. So Sonia O'Sullivan moving well, Paula Radcliffe in fifth place running well too, and the world record holder, Fernando Ribeiro, between them. Ten laps to go. 1,000 metre time, 2.51.95. I'll have a check on the overall pace in a moment. O'Sullivan in second place. Ribeiro third. Barsocio four. Ratcliffe five. Quaziz in sixth place. Then uh, Chariot, the other Kenyan. Behind her is Fidato of Romania. Tracking back the two uh, Russians together. Chirbanova Chir and Panchakova. That's Vedland of Sweden, Wern Griffiths, South Africa. Well, they're operating well inside world record pace for this women's 5,000 metres. And I think they're all anxious to move the pace along and keep it going. But Sabo surprised us all with a... ...in a thousand, thousand nowhere changes still 19 years old Zabo the Romanian leading A Sullivan Barsocio Ribeiro Cheria Radcliffe Quaziz Panchukova and Vedland Fedato 561 working hard 17 years old Sally Barsocio had a dramatic world championship uh, race two years ago in Stuttgart when she was disqualified for obstruction. But a very wide arm action, but eventually reinstated. And she led the Stuttgart 10,000 metres by 10 metres uh, before being caught in the closing stages. But Sally Barsocio. I think is the youngest ever World Championship track medalist when she won that bronze two years ago. And now Paula Radcliffe moves up onto the outside. They've had four laps courtesy of Zabo at world record pace. 
just beginning to drift a little off that pace now, 5.53 for 2,000 metres. And I sense that, uh, that um, Sonia Rose Sullivan was anxious to keep the pace going. That kilometre of 3.01, that was the slowest one so far. And the point is, they, they, they're torn between a, a championship race and a world record pace. Sometimes that affects one, one way or the other. And I think it was a wise move of Sonia Rose Sullivan not to take the lead there. But it's an impressive run by Paula Radcliffe running alongside the young Zabo. They've competed against each other many, many times. And actually, Paula Radcliffe is not overawed at all by the presence of the world record holder in this race. And, and Sonia O'Sullivan in a nice place, as she's been all the time, took on the inside. And I think for the moment, all thoughts about world records are off the table. Under seven laps to go. Paula Radcliffe, member of the Bedford Club. In fact, her mother manages the Bedford cross-country team, I think. Coached by club members there. A little bit of uh, bumping and shunting going on. Well, actually, that was Sally Barsocio, the Kenyan, and she got in trouble and she was warned in the World Championship last time around for interfering with other athletes. And I'm sure the concentration of the Kenyans, sometimes at distance races, they don't tend to run in a straight line, which is the almost the rules of distance running and Sonia O'Sullivan nearly got caught up in that and Fernando Ribeira now moving up on the outside for the first time threatening to take over that lap was the slowest lap so far in the race as Paula Radcliffe leads this race I'm, I'm not sure she wants to try and lead all the way but I think it's a good idea for Paula to keep the pace going to keep a consistent pace and as she said in an interview to keep a true honest race the thing about Paula Radcliffe is that she probably hasn't got a change of pace, a really sh short sprint pace, so she want to sustain pace without actually taking it too far. And that's Chobanova of Russia walking out of the race. The field now down to 14. Radcliffe leading. A Sullivan in second place. Zabo on the inside. Ribeiro on the outside of uh, Zabo. Barsocio Panchukova is behind her, Kwaziz, the Moroccan. Then Vedland of Sweden. Gwen Griffiths, South Africa. Fedatov of Romania. Paula Radcliffe with that uh, very individual, very personal sort of nod at the head. It certainly is a unique style, but it doesn't have a propeller very well from point A to point B, which is the object of the exercise. You don't win prizes in this sport for style. You win them for power and for stamina and for speed. Sonia O'Sullivan in the right place as Fernando Ribeira on the outside begins to threaten with five laps to go. She told us that she wouldn't worry about um, setting a fast pace all the way, but don't, don't think I haven't got a surprise up my sleeve. And I would gather in the next lap or two that, that Fernando Ribeira, if she's not too tired from the heats of the 10,000 metres, and the final of the 10,000 metres, they spring a surprise action here. Moving up on the outside down the back straight, Paula Radcliffe probably would like to be relieved of that le leading pace, but there's Sonia O'Sullivan checked over her shoulder, saw Ribeira, expects to see Ribeira, and now this race is getting really exciting. I think most of the athletes there must know that O'Sullivan on paper anyway, should be the fastest finisher. They went through 3,858. There's a story about Radcliffe training at altitude at Pont de Meur, the French training camp in the Pyrenees. She went out with, I think it was an Algerian male runner, to show him the trails, and he dropped out. And when he came back, he said, nobody should run with that girl without a health warning. Well, she's famed for her hard training, but that's the only way to progress in the sport, especially at distance running. You have to train hard. You then have to come down to the track on the appointed day, and you have to race sensibly, but you also have to race hard. And Paula Radcliffe now, she's realised they're not desperate to take over the lead from her, so she's beginning to stretch it herself. And you can see her working hard at it now, as Ribeiro looks threatening on the outside, coming up, moving up on the outside, getting ready to take over.
and 74 seconds for that lap. And this race turning out to be everything it promised to be. The right people there. And Shirley Roberto must try and take the finish away from O'Sullivan. Just over three laps to go. What's the time like, Brendan? Well, they've, they've slowed so much in the last few laps that I think they've given up on time. So they're going to run. They're not going to run anywhere near the world record. But really, this is a championship race. I'd be surprised if Ribeiro could go near her own world record in a race where she's already been around this track 62 and a half times before she came to, down to this final. And a little bit of a stumble there again from Sonia O'Sullivan. But now Ribeiro, Sonia O'Sullivan has got Ribeiro in the position she wanted her. And she'll slip in behind her. She won't do anything about it as they come up here with a, just about a thousand meters to go in this 5,000 meters. Now the world champion in the 10,000 meters and the world record holder in the 5,000 meters is leading that lap marginally faster. But I think Sonia O'Sullivan's in the right place. She's just there, just where she should be. And the two of them are beginning to slowly move away from the rest of the pack. It's going to be a hard road to hoe for Paula Radcliffe now. Quaziz moves into third place. The pattern in the later stages, as we expected. Ribeiro forced to run it from the front and use her distance strength against the speed of a Sullivan. Quaziz goes third. Radcliffe at the moment just ahead of Zabo, fourth and fifth. Barsocio is sixth. Panchakova of Russia in seventh place. A lap and three quarters to go. Portugal. Ireland, Morocco, Great Britain, Romania, Kenya, Russia. But really the leading three are getting away and we're probably looking at gold, silver and bronze as the three have got 600 to go. Radcliffe trying to rally but Zabo goes ahead of her. Well we're looking at the two finest female distance runners in the world, the 10,000 meter champion the potential 5,000 meter champion and Sonia O'Sullivan is moving out nicely. Is this to be Ireland's first ever female world champion? The last lap will tell. In a moment, they'll hear the bell. Ribeiro leads, going for a double. He's won the 10,000. O'Sullivan in second place, the perfect position for her. Quaziz, Morocco in third. Slightly unknown quantity. In some way back to Radcliffe fourth and Zabo five. Still O'Sullivan waits. 2.50 to go. O'Sullivan testing the Portuguese. Just lengthening the stride. Trains with the Kenyans who are based at Teddington outside London and O'Sullivan gradually striding away nothing dramatic just increasing the pace gradual build-up but very very effective build-up indeed and Sonia O'Sullivan is going to take the world title back to Ireland and our home city of Cove O'Sullivan wins the world 5,000 meter title the first ever 5,000 meter title. Ribeiro, the world record holder of Portugal, takes silver. Quaziz, Morocco gets the bronze. Zabo, Romania in fourth place. Radcliffe, Great Britain, five. Panchakova in sixth place. Sally Barsocio, seven. In eighth place, Quinn Griffith, South Africa. Nine is Bedland of Sweden. And in tenth place, Vidarov of Romania. The winning time, 1446.47. This is, of course, a championship record, as it must be in this first ever running of a World Championship women's 5,000 metre race. Well, the 10,000 metre champion didn't make it easy for Sonia O'Sullivan, but when it came to sprinting speed, this was a class act. Sonia O'Sullivan ran that whole race as a true champion, and there's her father, John. She said she wouldn't look up into the crowd before the race. She said she'd, she'd come and see them afterwards. And basically, she is the best middle distance runner in the world. She proved it today, and there, gradually, down the back straight, she just applied it. She just began to stretch. I think she was...